Hello and welcome back to Imperial Galactic Survival Star Sourage. The scenario is still working. My save is still alive, just about. Um, so a few things before we get started in today's episode. Every ship and station you see in front of you right now is now available on my workshop page. So if you'd like to enjoy these creations yourselves, or refits indeed, uh, yourself, you now can head over to my Steam workshop. There is a link in the description down below. And you'll find the Cyclops, the Long Cut, and Starside Base here. Uh, that you can subscribe to and bring into your own games and do whatever you want with them. Modify them, re-upload them to the workshop if you want to. Uh, I don't mind. They're yours to enjoy. Now, it's been a busy time here uh, in Star Salvage. I have been busy farming uh, Pentaxid. The resources that uh, we have the auto miners for, of course. And, of course, using the Promethean from the auto miners to make more fuel cells for the auto miners and of course we're all familiar with the time traveling tent trick so and bingo we have another bunch of promethean <laughs> do that a few times and before long you got yourself some ore and because i've got uh, auto miners deplete deposit set to false in the difficulty options that promethean deposit stays on 100 percent and there I have infinite Promethean. Promethean achieved. You know, and Ciscosium and Arrestrum and Stathium. But that's not all. I also have now auto miners on Titanium. Neo. And Cobalt. All on the nearby planet of Eorum. I've got Copper on the desert planet. And I've got Magnesium on one of the moons here. Oh, and I finally found one of those old temples you guys kept going on about. And ancient statues. Which apparently lower your power usage. Indeed. Minus 900 on that beast. So with all of that, um, okay, yeah, it takes a bit of management and running around to refuel them and empty them and things like that. But for those resources, at least, I seemingly have an infinite supply of now. So that's Promethean, Arrestrum, Zascosium, and Sathium on Soltest. Titanium, Neo, and Cobalt on Irurum. Copper on Pimmy. <laughs> Pimmy? <laughs> uh, magnesium over here on, I think it's Moon 3. And uh, so the only resources that we actually don't have a supply of is iron and silicon any basic resources but uh, none of the planets here have iron in fact that is not even iron that is um, trash pile or something like that I actually can check that I'm not even sure if iron is uh, iron and silicon are even resources that we can go and mine but uh, you know we never know we might actually be able to find a planet nearby that has those two on until then we'll have to rely solely on uh, scrap stuff in order to get our iron and silicon needs meanwhile everything else can be supplied with the uh, the other auto miners now there is another resource i don't know enough about this mod to know whether this is possible or not but uh i think that we also need a, a steady supply of scrap and components and so on and so forth so we do need to go out and do a little bit of exploring there's a black hole down here mano alpha uh that could be fun to go and explore and uh, see if we can find the more junk fields and stuff it would be nice to get a new cv that is capable of some heavy combat um yeah the cyclops up there has got hardened steel armor um as well as you know a shield generator and stuff but it doesn't exactly have the firepower required to take on you know some of the larger threats in the galaxy here i have upgraded it however a little bit um though it's now got rocket launcher pods on the side couple of laser turrets on the rear end uh, I had to put the rocket turret that was just in front of the detector over here because the long cut um, now parks on the roof as you can see the thing I spoke to you guys about last time and that's pretty much it everything else is the same as far as the Cyclops is concerned now the long cut is the one off the workshop um, so I I did a little cheating. I just I just deleted the one I had and then spawned in the one from the workshop. Just because basically the one on the workshop has some improvements, shall we say, over the one that I built here um, in survival mode. 
one of those is that it has a warp drive now. I managed to cram a warp drive in. And the other one is that the SV cargo pods are no longer SVs. They're actually built in. And they still had some CPU left over, although I was getting very close. I did go over, but then I realized there's a huge difference in CPU between laser cannons and plasma cannons. Well, plasma cannons take a little bit extra aiming effort. Um, you know, they were a huge CPU saving popping them uh, the lasers out for plasma so I did that and there I was able to get everything into one ship so no more undocking and redocking or undocking and redocking and also no more needed for a CV to cart it around the local system it can do it itself it means I can park the CV off in a safe system and then explore with the long cut very nice so then let me get the Cyclops ready for another trip out and we're actually going to leave our solar system here into deeper space see what we can find alrighty well I think we're ready to go we have done a lot of prep work here to get the Cyclops ready for another long voyage as usual I take about half of what's in the base pop it into the CV that way if I lose everything while I'm out at least then half of what I own is still safe at home here in the base and I can maybe rebuild and recover anyway Cyclops are loaded, the long cut is loaded on top, um, and I've planted crops, built fuel tanks, so on and so forth, and all the auto miners are now refreshed as well. So, they'll run for a while now, and while we're out, they'll be gathering resources. Now we saw a black hole system down below, didn't we? Mano Alpha. Let's go check that out first of all. I think that will require us to fly down. I need to hit F6 to bring the waypoints back up. There we go, it's behind us. We'll just, just do a cheeky reverse. And an upside down three point turn with a helix. No big deal. Easy. All right, let's go, guys. Alrighty. Welcome to a black hole. It sucks. Anyway, um, <laughs> there's not much here, is there? <laughs> How did I know that was going to happen? Okay, so we've got a space station sector over there. Okay. Empty space, an asteroid field with a Scosium asteroid, perhaps. Asteroid field with nothing, apparently, called Anuda. Anuda Alpha. And two lava moons. Okay, infant lava moons. All right, well, there we go. Not a great, a great big fat nothing, I suppose, is the uh, result of that. Oh, wait, a junkyard right next to the uh, the sun here, well, the black hole, I suppose. Well, well we're going to have to check that out because, like I said, we do want like a new CV that we can use as a combat ship. So, with inertia switched off, let's check this uh, junkyard out. Let's just turn inertia on a second. Yeah, we had a little ping. Oh, okay, right. Um, we've got Angel Space Wreck, okay. Tr space Trash. Is, is literally just a hunk of space trash, isn't it? Um, space trash, I think, junk storage drones flying around there. Wow. Okay, we've not seen this before. And there's nothing here, like, dangerous. Just these junk storage things. And then we've got space trash. Cerberus X front wreck. Okay. Space trash, 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 trash. And then a bunch of SV icons. Um, so I think there's space trash off to my right here. I think that basically takes the form of an iron asteroid. Well, it certainly looks like an asteroid to me. This is the sort of thing where, like, a mining laser on the front here, a harvest laser, would be useful, I think. I have no idea what we'd get out of that. Possibly just a mix of components, like digging up one of those iron deposits. One way to very easily find out. Let's go and poke it with a stick. i just pop my head up and then boop myself back down again. Like, boop. Oop, there you go. I can breathe. <laughs> um, all right. Let's do resource drill. Diggy diggy. And there we go. We got engineering scrap, military scrap. What was all the scrap? Okay, that's actually pretty valuable. The the military scrap especially. Like that is that is decent actually. I am kind of impressed with that. I thought it was just going to be like iron plates and a bit of like carbon substrate and whatnot. But uh, there we go. So uh, what we could use is some sort of like mining device 
of course, which I, I have zero of, because, well, I don't have a mining device, even if I wanted one in any way back at the base. Let's see if we can actually build one with the supplies that I've brought with me, though. Um, that's advanced. Constructor. CV. And now I think it would be under this one here, under tool turrets. Not enough Suscosium alloy. Although, damn it, Suscosium alloy of all things is the one thing I left back at base. Interesting, though. I could pop that into base and build that, assuming I can unlock it. That would be under resource gathering? Tool turrets. Um, 68 points. Drill module T2 laser. Ooh. 20. Bingo. That's it. <laughs> I'm once again out of points. <laughs> but a tool turret for a CV. That would be quite good because I could swap it out as a multi turret or a mining turret depending on what my needs are at the time. So, interesting. Space trash. Yes. Space trash, the universal kind of resource, right? Who knew? Right, okay, so maybe we'll go back and uh, equip ourselves as one of those before we set out. I mean, it would be a good idea, I think, just generally to have a uh, mining or resource gathering implement on the front of this ship. What I do want to check out are these drones before we head back, though, uh, because there's a lot of space... There's a lot of space trash here, so I do want to sort of spend a bit of time mining this. Cerberus X Front Wreck. Uh, I do want to so wanna maybe check that out as well. Uh, I think it's just the front of a ship, which is kind of worthless, but uh, we don't know, do we? So let's let's have a little look. I want to see... Um, I thought that was something then. And it's just all my waypoints in that solar system up there have just amalgamated into some like weird yellow thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's so odd. Anyway, um... Let's check out these junk storage drones that are running around and see what they're all about. Well, I mean, first of all, as soon as we come into visual range of this thing, it seems to stop moving. Or has it started moving again now? All right. My turrets attack it. 600 meters, they should be firing already. It is moving, but... Uh... Oh, hello. Now I've got little sparkly lights on it. What is that thing? It looks like a front flying piece of poo. <laughs> it's got little antennas on it. <laughs> what? Okay, hang on then. We uh we we've got a particular particular weapon that we can use to It's basically the junk storage boxes, isn't it? But a, a space version of them. That's brilliant. Blamo. A blamo. Oh, we've got to wait a second for it to fire off again. Oh, it's still moving somehow. Wait, wait, no, it's stopping, it's stopping. I didn't quite go as far as killing the core, which is good because there's a bunch of, like, fuel tanks and stuff above that that I want to... What is this? Somebody's having a laugh, aren't they? <laughs> We're having an absolute giggle. Uh, right, let's connect to... Let's connect to resources. That's usually empty. All right. Uh, yeah, so there's the core. Oh my god, there's warp drives and everything in here. Or salvage faction. As in the faction that is salvage. Okay. We are going to need to kill that core. Whoops. Let me just slap on our own little flame core. Alright, we could salvage all that. Let's have a little look in the cargo hold though. Ah, yes. This is salvage, so if I left, I salvage it. Look at that again, pentaxid. Look at all the pentaxid. 100 elemental. Oh my god. Well, that's just freaking fantastic, that is. Great weapons crate. Are they great, though? <laughs> Are they great? <laughs> Laser pistols and pulse rifles. Oh, yeah, yeah. Better than a kick up the arse, I suppose. Right, and then, you know, everything else can be just taken as whole blocks, I suppose, can't it? Large generators, fuel tanks. Grab the fuel out of this. This is all right. This is all right. Look at that pentaxid I just got. That's decent. That is very decent. That is a full wacky-dacky warp drive. Unbelievable. We'll have that oxygen. Thank you very much. Never all, though. Oh, no, apparently not. 
Okay, well, there we go. There was a salvage drone. Oh, hold up. Have you got anything in you? Unfortunately not. I was hoping maybe for a bit more pentaxid, but maybe that's being cheeky and asking for too much, you know? Lots of bright green ghosty like thrusters on this thing. But not a ghost ship. Not a ghost ship. A, a sort of weird insect bug ship thing made out of hubbard substrate. Has it got a cockpit? Oh my god, it does. <laughs> that's fantastic. Okay. Oh, that's fun. Fun little antenna bug thing. <laughs> Someone's having a laugh. Well, you know, look at like they're having fun, right? <laughs> Why not? Why not? There's some more thrusters here we can have as well. Look at that. For what? Two rockets? Three rockets, maybe? Not bad. Well, I suppose six in total because there's two of them. Right. Fantastic. Okay. Let me go. I'm going to grab this core back. This is now going to just, I don't know, despawn eventually or whatever. Um, but that's not a bad haul. But one of those, there's another one of these flying around. And then also the, all the trash piles as well. I want to grab. And then that is like, that is a decent amount of resources out of all that. That is decent. All right, where's the other drone? There he is, five kilometers down below. The Cerberus is 12 over. Okay, let me get this other other drone and then we'll go check out the Cerberus. Double ammo. Oh, two more thrusters still left over. Oh, well, that didn't go quite as well because it looks like I think I lost the generators that time. Yeah. Which is always a shame. Ah, uh, well. The fuel tanks are still intact. But the generators are gone. All right, well, let's see see what we got in the cargo storage here, then. Oh, hello. Can I go in the door, please, game? Is that all right? Please? <laughs> no, very not. Um, hello? I'd like to go in the door. Fine. Take the door out. No, I still can't go in it. Oh, it's doing this weird, annoying bug thing where it's sudden, it has, like, a, a wall, but it doesn't have a wall. You know? probably don't know you know but yeah you see like everything's a bit laggy it takes ages for it to realize that uh the block has been removed is this is this that whole thing is that just like a little container extension repository thing of uh some guns i think that's it guys yep okay fine um right i'll get the other bits and then uh, let's go check out that Cerberus thing well, I have to say that the Cerberus X front wreck is looking a little bit wrecked. <laughs> I would never have thought that from the name wreck that this would be all that was left. I mean, come on, look at this thing. I can't even, I can't, I could like, you know, take it home or whatever. But what would be the point? I'd be better off building myself a brick out of sand. <laughs> It's just completely buggered, mate, isn't it? And that's the technical term. Absolutely, this is not a combat ship either. It's got silly glass fronts on it. And, uh, I mean, it looked like at one point, one, one point in its time, it was quite a fancy ship. But uh, I couldn't even tell you what it was. Cerberus, I'm guessing. <laughs> By the name. But uh, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, it's gone. It's gone zoed. And it seems like a shame. But uh, there we are. This is what happens with ships just out in space. If you want ships that you want to, like, you know, absolutely turn into something, then you, we really do need to find a junkyard planet, you know? Uh, ooh, hello. Like the one we found uh, the Cyclops on. But and not the Temperate, because I think the Temperate ones, it's all the same stuff. It's all the same ships, right? Um, so, yeah. I mean, we I, I've looked at the ones on the Temperate planets, and I don't think I really want to turn any of those into combat ships. So I'm hoping that if we find a um, like a, a, a arid planet or barren junkyard planet, if those things exist, I think they do, then there'll be a different set of ships on them, right? Maybe. Just maybe. There'll be a fancy one with lots of guns and stuff that we can use as our combat ship. Anyway, as it is uh, right now, oops, um, <laughs> That's it for this sector. I think everything else around here is just junk, junk, field, space trash, like that. And these little SVs and stuff like that. Whatever. Destroyed Wraith. Yeah. Useless. Waste of time. Okay. So, 
I'm going to head back to base, pick up the Zaskosium that I completely failed to pick up, build myself a tool turret, uh, swap one of the storages out, probably the resource box that I've been putting everything into, for a harvest box, and uh, slap the tool turret on this ship. We're going to come back here, mop up all this space trash with the tool turret, and then we're going to go off somewhere else. So I'll see you guys when we're ready to go off somewhere else, and I've got all that other stuff done. I would like to point out before I set off that I have mined two of these uh, trash piles so far and that's what I've gone out of them. Over 4,000 engineering scrap, 4,000 military scrap, more carbon substrate than I can be bothered to count. It's not even stacking correctly so much of it. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave the rest of them to be honest because if I ever need carbon substrate, iron plate or any scrap things I'll just pop back here and pick up one of the other dozen or so space trashes around here. Oh my god! That's insane! That's just crazy, right? Huge amount of resources. Anyway, should we see where we're going to go next? Uh, let's see, we've got the stars. I, I want to find a, like I said, arid before, like, a, like an arid junk god planet. So I'm going to go for hotter suns. K and upwards. So should we try a K? Is that in Xeraxian? It is not. We try a K in Zraxian scummy territory. There's an Etrini down here. Etrini. Whatever. Let's go for that one. I've got a good feeling about this. So, fingers crossed. Well, that place sucked. So I went somewhere else. Now, I haven't found a Arid Junkyard. I found another temperate one, though. Oh, yeah. So I thought, yeah, why not? So after weaving my way around a camera and various other things, we are here at yeah. So let's um, let's get down there, see what we can find. I'm looking for uh, a decent looking CV that I think can handle a few hits and dish it out at the same time. And don't forget, of course, because this is a junkyard planet, we can take our capital vessel down on it as well. Yeah, I've done a bit of hopping around the planet to see what is available on this planet. And I think the, the capital ship right in front of me here would actually make a reasonably good combat ship because it's got a long front nose section and uh, it's got some nacelle bits over there that can hold probably a few um, manual fire guns like the rockets and lasers and stuff like that. And it's not too big, so we don't, we don't need things in there like constructors and whatnot. As it's small enough, it could probably be latched onto the uh, Cyclops here and towed about. Uh, the problem is, uh, Junkyard Defense, 300 meters away, is probably a little bit too close for comfort, although I am touched down right now. So maybe we'll be okay. I don't want to... It's a bit dodgy, because, you know, I don't want to run around the outside of, uh, of this thing and get shot by it. But I know that the long cut has got plasma cannons on it. We should actually be able to chop through those shields reasonably nicely, right? So let's power her up. Let's see if we can take that junkyard defense out with freaking cargo ship. It'll be fine, right? My, my freaking cannons are going for it. I don't know if they're in range, though. This is the thing. It's like, are you actually doing damage or are you just wasting ammunition right now? The range on my plasma cannons, for example, I know 175 meters. Um, and this thing's got shields, so, and they're still at 100%, so I'm gonna guess, no, they're not doing anything. They are, what a long cut here, it's probably going to take a while to take their shields down. Especially if I keep it in space like that. <laughs> the thing goes mental. <laughs> oh dear. Not very good at rolling, that's the problem. <laughs> Gets out of hand. I lost control a little bit there. I've done a 58% shield already. I'm back up to 100. Everything's fine. But yeah, every time I hit space, it goes a little bit wonko. There we go. 
have to hold the down. There's so much less down thrust than there is up thrust, you know. But again, there, 60. 2% shield, 60%. I mean, I'm at 60 as well, so... The thing is, my shields are recharged a hell of a lot quicker than this base will. I'm back up to 100%, you see. Why not? So, a little bit of concentration here. I'm just holding down. Every now and again, I tap, tap space, right? It throws these turrets off. 30% um, shields. Oh, wait. I should probably uh, retreat this point and let the shields just top themselves up again. 70%. 83% shields on the enemy base here. Let just get rid of this thing. It'll be that much easier to deal with that salvaging job of that ship. Oh boy. That took a lot of hits then. There at 9%. I'm back up to 100%. Quick like that. Right now we're gonna have to. Now we're starting to take the turrets out. Here we go. Oh, we've got 16% shields, 5% shields. Oh boy, this is not a combat ship. I have to remember that mostly it's just steel. You know, it's not. <laughs> it's not designed for this. Get these shields back up. If we can reduce the number of cannons shooting at me, then uh, I can I can last a bit longer in in the fray, as it were. You know. Oh, there we go. That works. Plasma cannons, they're not necessarily the most damage efficient weapon, but there's something to be said for them. They're rapid fire, they do a good amount of splash damage. They can usually, like, I mean, what we're seeing here is this thing is just leveling the, the platforms that these turrets are sat on, which is lovely. There you go. <laughs> Take a turret out. The platform collapses. There's one more gun left. Which, of course, you know, we can spend our time missing and playing with what we want. Because it's highly unlikely to get anywhere through my shields. And there we go. I'm on defense platform. Um, neutered, I suppose is the term. Let's get this back onto the ship and have a look at our possibly our new combat CV and what we might be able to do with it. Alright, here she is. Junk capital vessel. Uh, it's quite some sloping on the front there. Hmm. It's reasonable because these antenna pieces could be a perfect place to put some laser cannon, you see. Uh, the long snout would be extra armour and stuff, which is always good. We've got some untextured blocks. Shocking. Repository extensions in the front there. Okay. The truss blocks here to keep it up when it's on planet. Okay. How do we get into this thing? I'm not seeing any like underslung. Hmm. You know, this style of building looks like Salus Decor. I had to put a name to it. It's like a Salus Decor style build. Just the, the texture, color choices. Some of the block work. Yeah. Oh my god, this thing had farms? Well, we can get rid of that. <laughs> Gonna be a combat vessel. So, yeah. Oh, is that a ramp? Is that... What is that? Oh, it's stair blocks. Right. Okay, that makes more sense. It is... Yeah, it is tight and compact in here, which is... Yeah. I just... Uh, to me, that screams to lose score, but I could be wrong. Uh, let me know if you know. Of course. Uh, yeah, there's a lot actually in here for such a little ship. It's a, it's very compact. Impressive. Let's say, oh yeah, look, right, okay. Geo generator, essentially. We've got a storage constructor input, 30,000. And another 30,000 over there. It wouldn't be too difficult to get them. There's an ammo box up there as well. It wouldn't be too difficult to get them maxed out. Um, detector, some hull breaches, thruster ports, stuff like that. I don't know what went here. Generators, maybe? That seems very forward for generators and i am guessing everything from this point onwards then we just jump through this hull breach here is armor i'm guessing you know um well there's a decent amount and actually probably get a couple of turrets up the top here as well but i suspect this thing is going to be more about um 
forward firepower, you know? Mounted weapons. Uh, rather than the turrets. Yeah, we can get some decent engines in here. Okay. Right, because that's where I'd stick the generators and fuel tanks. Out on the nasals. Everything else inside can be gutted. I kind of like what we did with the cyclops there. Gut the inside and then redo it for the purpose that I need it for. Well owned. Oh, Jesus. I really see them to shoot them. See the Xerox laser soldier down there. Is that it? Doggos. See some doggos interrupting me. How dare they? Right. Next thing we need to do then is get this thing docked onto the Cyclops. So, has it got a core? Possibly. Um, no, it does not. Okay, that's good. So we can just pop our own in, right? Where would that go? <laughs> uh, let's put it down here for now. Pop core. Right. Claim core in place. Let's see, what are we missing? Generators. Ooh, lots of damage on stuff. Okay, um, well, we can get a generator. Let me see, can I get the Cyclops from here? Yeah, lots of devices. Yeah. Two generators, connect, generators. Let's see, I put generator there and generator there. Okay, this thing has got a little bit of fuel. Power on. Yeah. Ooh, hello, I just got kicked out of something. <laughs> the door just kicked me out. All right, let's see. Can we get up to the bridge? Uh, oh, there's an elevator. I'm like, how the hell do you get up to the bridge? All the way to the tippity top. Let's see, what thrusters has this thing got? It's got enough to lift. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just got about enough. Just enough to maneuver. Is it, did it have forward landing keys? <laughs> That's a good point. I didn't even know. Uh, I can't move. I can't move to the left right now. It won't. Oh no, it is going. It is going. The headlights are great. Right? And if I'm bringing headlights, considering how much damage this thing has taken, the state that it's in, the headlights are golden. They really are. Only nearly died. Only nearly died, guys. Fine. Only nearly died. All good. All right. Let's build a landing gear for a CV here. Yeah. Landing gear. Just the one. We'll do fine. You know, if we take that block out there, pop that in there, like that. Now I just need to get back into this thing, now that I've parked it on the roof of my... <laughs> uh, with no way of getting inside it. Yeah, good job. Well done. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. We are docked. We are docked. We are on the Cyclops. Everything is good. We can now depart. We have got... Uh, CV on CV mating action in this episode. It has been fantastic. <laughs> right, well, hopefully um, I've picked I've picked well. But we'll see. Oh, you'll need to do this ship up in the next Chilean Building live stream um, and see if I can get it into some kind of working order. So that we can actually use it as a combat ship. But let's, uh, for now, get it home. It's uh, in a hell of a sorry state, and it needs some TLC. But there we go, ladies and gents. Our new combat capital ship. <laughs> it's haphazardly mounted on the back of my ship. In the dark, of course. So you can all see it perfectly well. And uh, it's in a hell of a state. But we will fix it. We will fix it. And it will be glorious. And everything will be fine. So join me on uh, Wednesday. I'll be doing a chilling building live stream. Let me assuming nothing goes wrong. And uh, we'll try and get this thing working and up and running. So hopefully I'll, get, I'll see you guys then. Um, but thank you very much for watching today. I do hope you've enjoyed. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>